14 people came here to DIY a go-go for a DIY video boot camp. They had four hours to transform a piece of furniture and film it and make a video. I'm gonna show you all 14 of those furniture transformations. I'm gonna give you little teaser clips of each camper. If you wanna see all their videos, you're gonna to have to click over. I'm gonna put the links down below. Stay tuned to the end for more details because we have another video boot camp coming this September. We gave them all the DIY paint they could ever want. I cannot wait to show it to you. First up is Melanie Mel from The Colored Caboose. She created this piece with a poster and a secret technique. So are you tired of the same old boring floral decoupage papers that are available in the market today? I'm excited to show you how to use not only a thicker paper, but a poster paper and how to get a flawless result. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. You will need to click over to Melanie's channel to watch the entire tutorial. It is so good and she has so many great tips on her channel. The link to the playlist is below. Next up is Lynn from Ellen J Goods. She transformed a dresser with JRV decoupage paper. Typically, I cut apart everything that I use. I just, I just hack it up. It makes it a lot easier to lay out your papers and to decoupage. I cut around all the edges and you know, you're using scissors. It's a straight cut. It's gonna look like a sticker that's on there. I'm always careful to watch for the eye placement. If I have an eye, I don't want it to be stuck between two drawers or where one of the handles is. You can tear the decoupage paper anywhere you need to just to make it fit into those funky spaces around the trim. To see the full tutorial and all the other videos by L&J Goods, click the link below. Next up is Karen from The Noble Willow. She made drawer pulls out of rope and a chunky finish with salt wash and DIY paint. You are not gonna believe this. We had to finish a piece, film it, get close-ups, get all the different shots in four hours. I gave the campers just four hours because the rest of the week we had to work on editing, voiceovers, and all the things you need for a YouTube channel. Be sure to click the link below to follow Karen. She's got great videos and a really fun personality. Next up is Amy from Mama Bear Blue. She got her inspiration from a boho pillow and she used stencils to create the look. I had this plan in mind because I saw this cushion on vacation and it was like Moroccan and it was beautiful. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed to do that on my piece of furniture at DIY Bootcamp. I stepped back and looked at the color blocking. I'm like, I don't, I'm not sure I can pull this off. But I just took my time on the stenciling and stamping part and it came together. Amy's channel is full of great tutorials. Be sure to click the link below to see the rest of this video and many more. This is Autumn from Island Heart Vintage. I am just in love with her piece. You will love her YouTube channel too. I painted this piece in four hours and you would not believe all the things that went wrong. fun to have a challenge. The first thing you do is you want to find a piece that's got more of a flat profile in the front and you don't want something that has a bunch of paint on it. You want to look for something that looks like it has just a clear finish. Click the link below to watch Autumn's entire video and see how she created this piece. Next is Christy Lunsford from Texas. She is full of personality and talent. Overcoming Obstacles 101. Obviously, that's what this is because at this point in time, I'm over here working on this piece and it hits me, duh, you don't have any handles. What are you supposed to do? So you overcome and adapt. Or is it adapt and overcome? One of them things, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Debbie comes up with an idea. Yes! I feel like I won the lotto. I've never played the lotto, but it, if I would have, 
I would have wanted some brushes. Click the link below to follow Christy for all kinds of fun videos. Next up is Mara. Her piece was in really bad shape, but she turned it into something amazing. You're not going to believe it. Have you ever seen something really, really cheap? Maybe free, hello, my favorite F word, and you just have to have it, and you don't even care that it's all janky. The top was chipped off, the sides were peeling, it was in really bad shape, but something inside of me just said, take me home. Click the link below to see Mara's channel and the rest of this video. This is Jesse from Urban Legend Antiques and a peek at our one-on-one -on, -one on camera session. YouTube will send you a, hey, Jesse just posted a new video. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah. When the best laid plans crash and burn, what do you do? You have to rethink, reboot, restart, and just make it work. I've done three pieces this week in video boot camp. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. All these lovely ladies are choosing furniture ahead of me. And I was going between, there was a couch, there was the dresser that I liked, and then the, the wooden like sideboard. Normally I don't slap paint on stuff like this, but you know, it's boot camp. I don't have my little cups and saucers, my little salsa bowls that I like to joke about to paint with. I had to get to work and get it done. Next up is Janet. She created this beautiful mermaid finish with a stencil and golden ticket. I'm going to paint the drawers first. And yeah, I'm gonna spray them a little bit. It's a little warm and I want that pink just to glide. I hope this comes out pretty. This nightstand's a little, you know. This is kind of taking away the color of the mermaid tail, but you'll see why soon. And this is Melissa Morrow from The Vintage Bee. She created a very cool nautical combination. I love how Melissa hand painted this piece and made it look very easy. It inspired me to try it. You'll definitely want to watch the entire video. Her channel is full of all kinds of great tips. This beautiful piece was done by Cheyenne, our youngest member of Boot Camp, and also Christy Lunsford's very talented that daughter. Morning, we were in the classroom with Debbie and she was telling us, you know, important things about B-roll and stuff like that that we needed. So she's talking. And talking. Yeah. She's a little bit of a fish enthusiast. Don't tell anybody. Here you can see me sketching out my flowers with a ballpoint pen. I probably would have used a pencil if one would have been available, but I didn't think to bring one because I didn't think I was going to be doing a piece of furniture. So I just freehanded these flowers. Um, I did some daisies and roses, and here I'm just filling in a base coat of paint before I go in with the details. And Cheyenne has a YouTube channel too. The link is below. Next we have Shelly from Shizzle Design. I've been following her for a long time and I just love her work. It was crazy. I need more time than that. <laughs> Video training boot camp happened at the new DIY AgoGo. -Go. I met up with furniture painters from all over the US. When I was putting the stencil on, there was like a little strip that I still needed to fill in. And I'm like, how do I do this? It was a cardboard stencil. Yeah, I liked it. I love waxing painted furniture. I'll attach my favorite brush in the link below. Follow Shelly from Shizzle Design for beautiful furniture makeovers. And this is Veronica from Chasing Sunshine, and she is exactly like her name. You like shaft? Do you like grunge? Like, you like texture? Swing. Kind of along the bottom, the bottom of each drawer, and I highlight thick, thick color. You get it very wet, and then I slather it on little sections at a time, and then you just kind of soak up the paint.
Veronica's YouTube channel is called Chasing Sunshine. Click the link below for the rest of her video. Look at that hardware, like yummy. Have you ever had that piece of furniture for a very long time and you're just wondering what the heck to do with it? That's the piece I'm working on today. And this is Talisha Reynolds of Reynolds Custom Creations. She was part of our online group and she created a beautiful piece. You will want to click the link below to see her full tutorial. And Kenise of Kenise Co. shows you how to transform a sofa with DIY paint. I painted a sofa with Debbie Beard while at Video Boot Camp. We used JRV stencils and of course DIY paint, and we did some blending too. Head on over to my YouTube channel to check out my video. Thanks! We are having another video boot camp in September. If you would like to attend, the information is below. So that's it. Let me know in the comments which piece of furniture was your favorite and be sure and click the playlist to take you to all the videos. And please go subscribe to all of my DIY video bootcamp friends. Thanks for watching. We will be back in a few days with another amazing furniture flipped video and I will see you in the next video.